Break, breaking news. Breaking news, Patriots. Beautiful people. My Patriots around the world, beautiful people. Breaking news. Come to find out, there wasn't a crime after all. And Letitia James is a criminal. <laughs> oh, and also come to find out, <sighs> breathe. Everybody's turning their back on her and nobody likes her. Man, that's tough. Oh man, even my firefighters. Oh boy, this is bad. Miss James, this is bad now. This is bad, Miss James. And, and and let me ask you a question, Miss James. Would you would have fed this scroll this water right here? Would you would have given this nice, beautiful creature of nature a swig of that H2O? Oh, man, I hope everybody is blessed, well, and healthy, and that nothing but the best is going on in all you beautiful people's life. Just here to make sure you have an okay life. It's your main man, Rick, and hey, let me know if you need one. I got one for you. Because this November, we're going to hit them hard, man, and we're ready for a change. We sick of all this corruptness, all this nonsense going on. Come to find out everybody is mad down there in New York. They packing their bags. Salute to my truckers, man. The trucker boycott. They say it's still going strong. Yeah. Everybody getting up out of New York, man. They tired. Oh, boy. Oh, we got an amazing video sent in from Joseph in my email to check out this video from Professor, Professor Nez. And I've been subscribed to Professor Nez for quite a while now. Um, an amazing fellow. He drops amazing content. Uh, link in the description box down below. But, man, look at these comments. Another activist using lawfare. It was not a victimless crime. It was not a crime, period. By calling it a victimless crime, you are agreeing with James that it was a crime. Someone says, sue her for violations, firefighters, constitutional rights, no crime. She is the criminal. She decided to go after Trump out of the blue. She literally campaigned with the slogan of getting Trump if she was elected. Her entire campaign was nothing but the promise of getting Trump, no matter what it took. How the hell she was even legally allowed to do what she did to Trump is still mind boggling. Damn, I ain't never heard that word. Boggling. Mind boggling. That's a sexy word, y'all. <laughs> oh, man. Letitia James should be locked up for... I, I, I don't want to get... You know, there's only this is a certain words we can't say on the platform. So we're just going to keep that in the comments. <laughs> oh, this is a miscarriage of justice. James and, he, and that judge should be dealt with. <laughs> oh, that, that corrupt judge, man. Ah. Ah. I always pronounce the name wrong. Egron, Egron. Uh, Y'all know I ain't trying. I, I ain't. You know I ain't trying. But let's check this video out, you guys. Uh, I tell y'all, man. And you better not be laughing at me. I know I started the video off a little strong on me. <laughs> but I love y'all, man. To all the beautiful, proud, confident, loving, happy patriots around the world. I got love for you, man. I got love for y'all, man. Yes, indeed, man. I hope everybody is blessed, well, and healthy, and that 2024 is treating you well. We wishing pay raises, salary increases, upgrades, bonuses, more time to spend with your loved ones, your family, your kids. You know, salute to our first responders out there. You know, our firefighters, law enforcement, you know, EMS. I've, I've talked to a lot of you guys, man, that have, especially on my OK Rick channel, and we're finna hit 200,000 subscribers on that channel, man. You know, and there's so many veterans, first responders, you know, a lot of amazing people are subscribed to that channel, man. And y'all have told me the most craziest stories. And that's why I got so much love for y'all, man. You know, what y'all have been through, the sacrifice, you know, it takes some guts, man. So salute to all my first responders out there. I got so much love for you. Yes, indeed, baby. But let's check out this video. And um, I will leave the original link in the description box down below. And uh, shout out Professor Nez, man.
Hello, everybody. We have some. Sheesh. That footage there. Breaking exclusive news. Another news item that you will not find by all the main news media outlets will not talk about this. That clip you just saw, I'm going to show you a longer clip as well. Stick around for this. Is of okay. the Attorney General of New York, Letitia James. I almost said uh, Letitia Cash Money G, but that's Fanny. It's hard to. <laughs> And hey, we seen a small portion of that that clip in Doug and Exiles video. So y'all shout out to Doug, man. And if y'all know we've been covering um with his with his uh, content has been informing us as well too, man. He drops amazing content. Salute and shout out to Doug and Exile. To keep up with all these corrupt uh administrators in uh in Biden's administration. It's Very just it's hard to keep up with all these people. Very corrupt. Um Letitia James gave a uh, homage uh, at the FDNY, the, the Firefighters of New York City, an event uh, that was held very recently. And as soon as they announced her name to present the honoree with her award, you heard chants from actual firefighters who were booing the Attorney General Letitia James and then finally yelling and chanting Trump towards the end of her speech. Now, if you have it, it, just a, a real quick recap of who Letitia James is. <clears throat> Letitia James is the attorney general who out of the blue decided to go after and charge former president Donald Trump with a civil case in which was decided by one judge Engeron. Most of you guys probably already know this. And uh, uh, Trump was fined over 450 million dollars which a lot of people including yours truly nez found to be utterly disgusting utterly repulsive repulsive a weaponization of the doj as well as just an egregious uh deviation from actual constitutional law and so yep oh yeah we are all disgusted you know it's, it's ridiculous anyways y'all know i get mad every time i hear about it so um, she then posted this on Twitter. Check this out. So here you can see uh, on her Twitter feed, she posts, uh, first she posted this 464 million amount, just posted that. Like, like who does that? What? Like, 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 ah. Professional, I mean, in any right would post and, and, you know, spike the football and gloat like that over something that a lot of real estate investors, a ton of business people, especially investors in New York, found to be absolutely, utterly ridiculous uh, and just proves even more that the government is trying to do things that is really beyond their scope and beyond their reach. Uh, and they're just basically uh, inflating their big government status and their big government uh, clause into every free market enterprise imaginable. But she posted this on Twitter, and then she reposted it. And so many people thought this was in bad taste, including yours truly. I mean, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know. You don't find criminals being this uh, audacious, let alone somebody who is the attorney general of the state of New York, which is an office of esteem, an office of credibility, and always appear equivocal, always appear uh, dispassionate, and totally impartial and fair towards the aims of due process of law. This is anything but impartial. This is gloating. This is bragging. This is childish. This is 1 billion percent unprofessional. unprofessional. It is right along the lines of Fannie Cash Money G. Willis. These people are just absolutely absurd. And if you. Fannie Cash Money G. <laughs> just corrupt people everywhere. I mean, this is ridiculous, y'all. You know, this, this is ridiculous. This is. They born a the corrupt tornado's coming. A corrupt tornado's coming. <laughs> you missed this. Check out this. If you don't take my word for it, 
Take the word of somebody who's probably the most successful real estate investor on the entire planet. Listen to Kevin O'Leary. Check this out. This award, um, I mean, just leaving the whole Trump thing out of it and, and seeing what occurred here, and, and I'm, I'm no different than any other investor. I'm shocked at this. I, I can't even understand or fathom uh, the, the decision at all. It, it, there's no rationale for it. And so let me give you a real-time uh, experience I'm having regarding this, and I'm not the only one. It doesn't it doesn't matter what the governor says. New York was already a loser state. Like California's a <laughs> We've heard how many times have we heard this, y'all? We've heard like I, I think I've watched this segment like probably five hundred times this uh especially this past month. Like I, I don't <laughs> That loser state, we're getting everybody back. We're, we're, we're getting, we, we don't want to deal with it no more. We're, we're, we're done with New York. The hell with the pizza, the hell with the bagels, the hell with the cheesecake. Okay. A loser state. There are many loser states because of policy, high taxes, uncompetitive regulation. It was already on the top of the list of being a loser state. I would never invest in New York now. And I'm not the only person saying that. And then you had the truckers boycott, which was so awesome, which is... You know, uh, still to this day, there's a lot of truckers who will not ship to New York City because of this. So, yep. Salute our truckers, man. We support and love our truckers, man. Hell, got, got, the, got the economy on, on its back, you know. The backbone of the economy. Salute to our truckers, man. You know. And we've gotten to actually talk to some truckers in my previous video. So, oh yeah, buddy. It's getting real. It's getting real, baby. You had a case where there was zero victims. It was a victimless crime. Uh, Donald Trump was not being tried through a jury of his peers. One judge made all the decision. We all know everything about Judge Engeron. There's been uh, undercover footage brilliantly executed by James O'Keefe where he was definitely showing a bias. He definitely wanted to go after Trump, right? Then you have uh, the banks even coming to Trump's defense. He paid all his loans back with interest. The whole charge was that he inflated property value in order to get an advantage through financial loans through banks, which everybody does. And it's actually the bank's job to do their due diligence to make sure the property is valued appropriately. It's not Trump's fault. It's the banks that need to do their due diligence. Everybody inflates. You find me a homeowner who's trying to get a loan, who's going to give an accurate evaluation of their home, and I will give you a million bucks. It doesn't happen, will not happen, never. Okay, then we fast forward to this yeah. moment right here, which happened very, very recently, where the AG Letitia James was invited to induct an honoree at this event that the uh, 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 fire department in New York, uh, uh, the FDNY was holding, and then watch what happens here. Oh boy. You hear those boos? Oh, come on, we're in a house of God. <laughs> First, um, simmer down. I want to thank Commissioner Kavanaugh and Chief Hodgins for that recognition. That's my boy. That's First my of boy. All, keep, keep rooting it. That's my boy right there. Keep rooting it. Simmer down. I mean, I think that's, I just, oh my God, her whole demeanor, her whole. Um, and we talked about this in our last video, in our previous video. We didn't, we didn't, a lot of y'all did not like that. And now, how's it going? Simmer down. Oh, uh, oh boy. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Attitude. You know, she knows well in hand that what she did was an absolute witch hunt. What she did was unfounded, ungrounded, had no legal basis for it. It was a complete and utter weaponization of the Department of Justice, of uh, New York City's legal system. Uh, and it was a direct attack. Probably, I would say more, I, I have so much confidence in saying this right now, probably uh, uh, boosted and created and launched by uh, the Obama coalition, the, the, the establishment, the swamp that's in Washington, D.C. Uh, and the fact that she says, simmer down, we're in the house of God. It's that same phony Kamala, that cash money G Fanny. 
it's just so egregious. Okay, so that happened, which I applaud those uh, uh, firefighters for exercising their right to free speech. This is still a free country and actually questioning your leaders, even vehemently and adamantly opposing your leaders is not only an American right, it is a civic duty. Check this out. I want you to check this out. So we actually got our hands on a memo so the FDNY firefighters who booed Letitia will be punished and they will face re-education. These are uh, memos and emails from the uh, UFOA, which is the Uniform Fire Officers Association. And the source here is Viral News NYC. And they are asked to turn themselves in or risk being hunted down. So I will actually leave a link to this. I want to thank End Wokeness on X for posting this. Um, but you can see here that uh, they're obviously were, she, Letitia James was not happy. So the memo goes on to say that, you know, you don't, you shouldn't have done that. That was totally unaccounted for. It's unacceptable. And then here's the part I really want to show you uh, on the next page. And then watch this at the bottom here. I want you to see what it says here at the very bottom. Next steps. You see that underneath my, my image there? Have DC visit each firehouse that had a member promoted. Relay bullet point message, which is just a bunch of bureaucratic nonsense. <clears throat> They should understand that Bits is gathering video and I what is this communistic like we're <laughs> gathering video, we're identifying members that brought discredit uh, and to the departments, the same crap they did in higher education. We want the <laughs> members to same come crap. forward. They will come to HQ. This is absolute garbage. They will come to HQ to be educated why their behavior is is unacceptable and then right above my head here's the second page this is so unbelievable uh and it's it, it's it's just it's just it makes me so angry bits is investigating this the second paragraph so they will figure out who the members are i recommend they come forward i've been told by the commissioner it will be better for them if they come forward and we don't have to hunt them down hunt them down you're going to hunt down firefighters who risk their lives? Saluta, and y'all know I'm big. I'm really, really big. Y'all know who I am, man. And some of the reactions I've done towards music for my for my first responders, you know, even on my, like I say, my OK Rick channel, where we have a lot of veterans, first responders, and just a lot of amazing people that have made the, you know, the ultimate sacrifice you know, that have put their life on the line, you know what I'm saying, for others and to, to, to make this, this this world a better place, you know, on that. And I've look, man, y'all know how I feel about y'all. And again, salute to my first responders, salute to my, my five. I got family and friends that are firefighters, policemen, you know, some that have passed away, you know, once, you know, veterans, people that have served. All, it runs all all in my family as well. So y'all know how I feel, man. But that is ridiculous. <laughs> that is boy, boy, boy. Hunt down. Who put their families, jeopardizes their family, sacrifices their blood, sacrifices their ability to take care of their family so you can have safety, so you can feel safe and you can get the help that you deserve as an American. You're going to hunt them down for what? Exactly. For, it's ridiculous, bro. For booing an absolute corrupt, corrosive vermin like ag letitia james that should make every american's blood boil i just think that this is just such a yeah, i see i'm over here boiled up they, 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 they say turn this turn the stove off turn the stove off he, he hot An absolute travesty it's such a travesty of justice it's the same bureaucratic nonsense that they used to shovel down our throats uh, uh, in higher education, thank God I'm not, you know, b beholden and I can tell the truth about what happens in higher education. I'm now running businesses and doing my own thing. It's the best thing ever for my life. Um, I know there's a lot of adjunct professors and professors out there who are like me, who are sick and tired of this 100-year-old system that is doing nothing for students. Nothing. This is a direct... Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'll say, we've been, we, we, we've been watching Professor, professor Nez... For a little bit now, um, 
this past year. And uh, again, thank you to Joseph for sending his 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 channel over this this video specifically over to me. And again, link is in the description box down below. And we're, we will definitely be reacting and checking out more of uh, his content. But because uh, you know lately we've been doing uh, dealing with Doug in Exile, and he drops amazing content, keeping us informed. But um, as these reaction videos continue to you know come out, and you know this is a reaction channel for the most part. You know, I love to be just transparent with you guys, man. You know, I'm wishing the best in everybody's life. Y'all know that. And that 2024 treats all of us well. You know what I'm saying? And that we can make this thing, we can turn this thing around, man. You know, life is already short and precious as it is, you know. And I love you guys, man. I don't care what your skin color is, what you look like, what you smell like, where you're from, your background, if you've done something terrible in your past, you know. I wanted to say that I love you and I'm wishing the best in all you guys' life, man. More health, pay raises, upgrades, salary increases, bonuses, more time to spend with your loved ones. You know, we all this life we live in is a very, very fast time travel, you guys. Very, very fast, man. You know? Direct result. I'm telling you right now, this is a direct byproduct of the worst infection, the worst virus that's hmm. infected our nation, DEI. DEI is the most parasitic virus, more contagious than any virus on planet Earth. It's infecting our airline industry, our educational industry, our public, private, free enterprise, every industry mm. imaginable. And the reason I know this is because if Letitia James was white, Caucasian, mm. all those boos, all of those yells would be plastered all over mainstream media, those firefighters would each get a sit down with Gail King or The View and Whoopi Goldberg and that bunch of nonsensical yappers. And we all know who still watched The View in 2024. Who still watches The View in 2024? Unbelievable. Because we sure don't. Like, I don't know how y'all can get excited. Ooh, I can't wait to watch The View today. <laughs> but we know who that is, though. We know who those, you know. We ain't gonna, we ain't gonna call you out. We ain't gonna call you out. We know, though. And they would be given awards, and they would be applauded, be given book deals. But no, because Letitia James is African-American, because she's black, just like what Fannie Willis is doing. Look, discrimination is discrimination. Any kind of discrimination is discrimination. Are there racists that exist out there? Of course. I'm an optimist. I tend to think that most people are good people. Are there racists out there? Of course. Does that mean that we should implement a parasitic ideology that perpetuates racism under the guise of diversity? Capital N, no. And it's affecting and costing lives. Look at what's happening to United Airlines. Do you remember the videos? I'll leave it in the in the end screen. Do you remember the videos I posted of the CEO of United Airlines? Who was like, no, 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 we're all about DEI. We're going to make sure our board is, has black people on it and women on it. And we're going to make sure our pilots are unqualified just as long as they fill a quota. Look what's happening to United Airlines. The third plane just had to do an emergency landing because of faulty parts. DEI is the worst thing that ever happened to our country. It needs to be abolished. It is leftist, woke, virus, crap, garbage. And more importantly, it's costing lives. It's, mm. it's awful. If Letitia James was white, I promise you, everything would be different. This memo would not have gone out. This absolute abomination of a memo, hunt them down. I mean, that is so... It's rotten to the core, man. You're going to hunt down firefighters who just are exercising their freedom of speech? Freedom of speech, man. I want to throw this over to you guys because I, my blood's boiling. I'm starting to sweat. I'm getting so upset. This is the whole purpose of this channel. We need to raise awareness. You think mainstream media is talking about this memo? Not even close. Not even this close. This is the whole purpose of this channel. I want you to share this video with everybody you know. We need to. And this, uh, thank y'all for sharing it. You know what I'm saying? And continue to share it. Continue to share it. Send it to your, you know what I'm saying? More favorite, your favorite reactors on the platform, you know? And right now, I am I have a huge audience over there on OK Rick. And, you know, some of y'all send stuff from that channel, from that channel over there for me to post on this channel. So it's just, you know, 
keep sharing it, man. Again, we want to thank Joseph for sending this over, and we definitely will be uh, doing more awareness reaction videos um, to Professor Nez. And again, link in the description box down below. But man, whoo, whoa, whoa, boy. Raise awareness, tap the thumbs up so we get this pushed everywhere. I want to hear what you guys think. What do you guys think in the comments? What do you guys think of the AI, the AG, I'm Letitia already James? The Am I, for you. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm happy to be wrong. Am I just over? The arrogance of this criminal is almost beyond belief. <laughs> Next time, don't invite such a corrupt, controversial political to a job site meeting. <laughs> Sounds like she needs to be re-educated in, in the meaning of the Constitutional uh, Republic and what it stands for. Teacher James, no slouch either. Isn't she worth like 15 million? How the, did she get the money? I support Trump 100%. Makes me absolutely sick. How on earth can we allow this to go on? And all of our first responders need to stand together and stay. What did I say? I don't even know what that says right there. She needs to be. Oh yeah! Again, we, I gotta, I, I can't say certain things on the, on the, on the video, but firefighters for, 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 for Trump, truckers for Trump. This is terrifying, terrifying. Re-education for protesting. Civil servants. She can't handle the truth. Trump, 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 Trump. She is not doing what she is supposed to be doing. This is disgusting. What can we do to support the firefighters? Hunt them down. Has America gone back to <laughs> McCarthy days? <laughs> oh, that's not funny, man. Uh, people, uh, these these are real life comments. Real life people, man. Unbelievable. Leave the firefighters alone. They have the right for freedom of speech. What should she think? She should be loved. I sound like I can't even freaking read because the the way y'all, the way some some of these comments are, are worded, it's like ah. To every Democrat, you voted for this. 35-year 35 fighter here. Salute to you. 30, 35 years of a firefighter. Salute to you. Good luck stopping this after you threaten. The F what a dope. Oh, man. She thinks she can do anything now. She should be fired. Disgrace to New Yorkers. Again, I'm just reading out some of the comments, you guys. But comment down below what you guys think, man. Uh, I'm not the best reader. I sound kind of illiterate. <laughs> but I love you guys, man. I, I sound like I'm, I've am i been drinking all morning. <laughs> reading some of these comments because of the way, you know, some of y'all need to reread re re your comment before you uh, post it on the thing. Because y'all be all over the place in the comment section. But salute to the real ones out there, man. All the beautiful patriots. I'm wishing the best on all you guys' life. We stay update, up to date on everything that's going on, especially this election year. So just come on, stop by uh, when you can. And uh, hit that like button for your boy, man. Y'all spam that like button and subscribe to the channel. Wishing everyone an okay life, man. Life is already short as it is. Y'all spread that love. You never know what somebody's going through. And again, I'm wishing the best on all you guys' life. Peace and love, family.